This is not good. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, Val is not going to be impressed when he finds it. Yeah. Ah, oh, Mr. Valentino, sir. <laughs> I, I didn't know you'd be coming. You didn't know I'd be coming. Sex toys. What? Sex toys. Look at this bill. Forty-two thousand dollars. What the hell did you have to buy that Halloween hoe party pack for? No, I don't all right, all right, fucking draw. Forty-two thousand dollars. Don't I bring enough home for you to fuel your filthy habit? I you just, I, just, I, I can't explain. I, I mean, how was I supposed to know how much it would cost? I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a fuck. How are you supposed to know, Phil? You are my fucking accountant! Oh, yeah! I, 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 what, what, what I meant was... <laughs> What's that? Uh, what? What's what? No, there isn't one. I mean, I mean, none. I, I mean, I, Give it here. It's uh, costumes. $54,000.63. You don't seriously still go to this asshole for costumes, do you? Not this twisted hellhound. I bet half the stuff in the basement would never actually been sold by him. And what's that? Uh, nothing, nothing. Just a uh, just, just little, um, little two. Okay, it's page two. Page two. Unless this bill is paid within eight days, legal proceedings will be taken. Oh, Jesus. How long we had this? Three weeks. Three weeks?! I, I didn't think it would matter. I mean, uh, I didn't think that hell would be such a, a stickler for financial business. There is no point in hiding bills. I will be furious if you do this again. Honestly, this is ridiculous. Why ain't you paid anything? I haven't got any money. What the hell have you done with the utility bill? I, I pay essentials with that. Yeah, I saw the Christmas party peace package you bought last year. Uh, yeah. Oh, I do not know what is happening to me lately. I really do not. Another fucking turf war. An accountant who can't account. And so many. Oh, fucking weird changes around here. Well, what do you mean? Don't tell me you ain't noticed. I mean, I saw the news the other day. Our princess, Charlie. Ain't you noticed something weird about her? Something different. So, something about the eyes. I, don't, I can't quite put my finger on it. Something about the eyes is different. And Angel. Something about Angel's changed as well, and... Fucking weird. Just the other day, I saw Alistair. You know, Radio Demon. Even he looks different somehow. Somehow his general aura is changed. Hmm. I hope that same fucking change don't happen to me. <laughs> Next thing you know, my voice will be different. <laughs> like that'll ever fucking happen. Now, as for you, Phil. No, 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 Val, listen, listen. Mr. Valentino, sir, I, I can explain this. Look, I tried to... I tried to fix it. Listen, how you feel. With a bill currently standing in excess of $243,000.62, I cannot have an accountant who cannot do basic accounting. Don't let the car hit you on the way out. Wait, uh, wait, what? <laughs> that car. Oh, another fucking tough war. Seems like every day there's a 
fucking war breaking out over some dumb shit. <sighs> I need a fucking drink. Come on, sweetheart. Cute little thing like you working behind the bar. It ain't right, ain't it, boys? No, no, right, no, no, no. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you, sweetheart. I'll tell you what. You come back with me. Be my little plaything. And I'll make sure you never work behind the bar again. I'll take real good care of you. Well, 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 Maurice, it's good to see you again, old friend. Glad to see that y'all are enjoying my Halloween extravaganza and getting out of the turf war outside. But, um, why are you hitting on my ball key? Ah, uh, Val. Val, Val, Val. I should have known. <laughs> By the looks of you, I'd say you're in your fourth beer this morning. Is that right? It was... It was a margarita, actually, but... I can't allow you to harass my barkeep as well as insult me, Maurice. I'm friend going to get you to leave. Would you get a load of you? Hey boys, you know, I actually gave this one-shot mug a chance of being something bigger. Back when he was just a kid on the street. And now look at him. He has a porn industry, he has a bar, he has restaurants, he has a filmmaking industry, he's rolling in it. And then, when his old friend comes in just for a drink, and maybe a bit of friendly company, he gives me the thumbs down. Is that right, boys? No, no, no. It no, ain't right, no, boss. No, no. It ain't right. Val, how about this? We take a drink, you take your barkeep, and I'll pay you for a new one for you. How's that sound? Because I don't want to come into your house and disrespect you. All right? I'm afraid, Maurice, you've done way more. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Val, I already told you, we ain't leaving until we've at least had a drink. Did you just... Did you just put a knife through my fucking hand? Well... Huh? Yes. Val, you fucking lunatic! Ah, uh, uh, you put a knife through my fucking hand? The fuck's wrong with you? Pull it out, boys, pull it out. I, I got you, boss. Um, do I just pull it out? Uh, I read somewhere that you're not supposed to just pull it, it out. Right, right, right. I'm pulling it out. I'm pulling it out. Uh, ready? Uh, one, two, three. Ah, fuck! Yeah. Val, you got too fucking far this time. Uh, next time, I'll take the barkeep and I'll take the whole fucking place. You don't know who you fuck with this time. Oh, fuck. Get me out of here, boys. Hey, you got it, boss. Come on. Let's get out. Are you fucking insane, barkeep? Egging them on like that. You should be ashamed of yourself looking that cute. Seven drinks behind the bar that I own. <laughs> I suppose you couldn't help it, could you? Well, besides that, what's your name, kid? I don't remember hiring you. Huh. We gonna have to do something about that kid. You tell anyone in here what your name is like that. Oh, it'll be anything you can do to stop six, seven, eight different demons trying to, well, <laughs> do what you just experienced. Well, you see, if I was in charge of your career-making choice, 
I suddenly wanna wanna hire you looking that cute. Cause you're a cute kid. You got a nice ass, and uh, well, looks like you got a nice body under all them very skimpy clothes I might have. Now, as a connoisseur of the lustful and the depraved, I have to say that y'all look here. Uh, you gonna have to do something about that if you don't want uh, people trying to grope you. Oh, kid. You've only been dead three days, huh? Um, I'm sorry, kid. I know it can be hard and just the end of this. <sighs> to this midnight glow thing we got all going on. But you did. And there ain't nothing you can do to get out of that. But. <sighs> I think that's something I gotta teach you about the way things work down here. Maurice, yeah, did indeed give me my first gig. He gave me a start, and I did what any delegation of hell would have done. I stabbed him in the fucking ass. <laughs> That's the way it works down here now, sweetheart. You need to learn to take advantage of your situation. You gotta learn to roll with the punches. Come me. I got something to show you. I have a feeling you ain't experienced hell in all its glory. And you need to realize down here that, uh, <laughs> there are a lot of gangsters, warlords, overlords, fighting for my piece of town. There's only one or two left, but there's still quite a few places in hell that ain't figured that out yet. Come to me. I need to show you some. Welcome to the city, said a young man sitting next to me. Heard you knew in town before you get around. Here's a little tip. For me, best stick to yourself no matter where you go. Just watch your back and hold your own. And if after that trouble's knocking at your door, remember, my friend, it's a town we're fighting for. Welcome to your paradise, where the little man pays a bigger price. Take another hit, just get it over with. We're a little sick, you see. Can't stay down no more, we gotta make it known. So get back up, you're not alone. Then get them back, leave them gripping to the floor. Never had a choice in knocking at your door. Remember, my friend, it's time and this is war. This is war. <laughs> That's right, kid. Don't get much worse than this. <laughs> ah, no, kid. I'm afraid it. Uh, don't worry about that. Goes a little, uh, little something like this, you see. Welcome to the untold. Take the deep breath, take the higher road. It's what they always say, as if they know the way. They will take it from me. Don't ever doubt yourself, cause life ain't just a dream. You make your own, so kick and scream. The people will act with a never ending force. Never had a chance, see what you're waiting for. The day has come, my friend, cause this is war. It's time and this is war. <laughs> I'm afraid 
that's your reality now, kid. War. Constant battle for your soul. Light another wick. Better make it quick. We ain't got a lot of time. Cause the powers that be don't want us free. So they got a dull shine. But when the dust settles in, they gon' pray for their sins Bit of my mind gotta stand side by side As we drag all the lies to the tables for sacrifice What? Oh, nothing kid It's time and this is war Time and this is war. I said fucking nothing. It's just I can't live like this anymore. Back to the club. You're coming or what? Looks like it's, uh, it's finally dying down out there. <laughs> no pun intended. I wonder which poor motherfucker won. What? Sweetheart, you need to realize that, uh, daddy been in this business a long time. And... Too often now. T times are changing. And son of a uh, going a little faster for daddy to handle. And daddy ain't used to not being able to handle shit. Oh, that's right, sugar babe. <laughs> I always get used to solving my own problems. Daddy got a problem, daddy fix it. It's as simple as that. But lately, things is changing. And I ain't sure that I'm the, I'm the big bad motherfucker I used to be. Don't you feel it? It's like something in the air. And I ain't just talking about the Halloween atmosphere. Although, uh, the sun does seem to be amplifying the Halloween -y ambiance tonight. It's like the veils of my world are thin. So fucking thin. I feel like I'm forgetting something that I, that I should have remembered a long fucking time ago. I feel like I'm living this hell over and over and over again. I don't know, sh shit, maybe. What? <laughs> of course I still want you as a fucking barkeep. You cute as fuck. We need something a little more wholesome to add to the innocence of the place. If you know what daddy mean. You'd be surprised how many depraved fucks get turned on by that. But we cater to all sorts down here. 
It's real sweet of you to inquire as to my current predicament. But no. No, baby. I think that, uh, there's something that, uh, I just gonna have to figure out for myself. As fucking usual. <sighs> if you don't feel what I'm feeling in the air, I ain't sure that I can describe it to you. I don't know how else to fucking describe it as it. I feel like something's coming. Kinda like a, kinda like a, you're, you're about to let yourself blow, you know, after a night of, oh, spicy, hot fucking. But it ain't that kind of release that's coming. It's something different. Like you don't know what's about to happen, but you just know something's about to fucking happen. And I... I swear to God, if you tell anybody this, I will rip your fucking spine out. I'm scared. And it ain't a feeling that I'm used to feeling. I hope you realize that. I swear to God, if you tell anyone what I just told you, you're dead meat. Huh. If you say so, sugar. But, something about your eyes seems pretty familiar. Like I've, I don't know. Like I seen you someplace before. Do you remember where you was before you died? Huh. Interesting. Most people remember up until a point. And then after that they just fade like a dream. You can't quite remember, but you remember vivid details that often, or more times than not, turn out to be such horse shit. <laughs> anyway, you best get back to the bar before Angel takes advantage of the situation. You would be surprised what an alcoholic fuck angel dust is. <laughs> you know, I once caught him stealing behind the bar. And I grabbed his hand and he was begging me, please, Mr. Valentino, I won't do nothing like that again. I said to him that if you could fit that whole bottle in your mouth without gagging, I would let him take it and I would pay for the bottle myself. <laughs> Did he do it? I think you should get back to the bar before you find out the answer to that. <laughs> oh, by the way, sweet thing. Happy fucking Halloween. Happy, happy what? Happy Valloween. Fuck. Fuck! What's the matter? Why didn't I think of that? Fuck, that's brilliant! Why 
have enough held that above the bar for one night only on Halloween. That would have been a fucking instant seller right there. Halloween merchandise everywhere. Fuck. God damn it. <sighs> Missed out there. I don't know. Maybe next year, huh? <laughs> you are a cheeky little fuck. <laughs> yeah, you got your job for a year. Guaranteed by Big Daddy V himself. How's that make you feel, you cheeky little monkey? <laughs> you get your cute little ass down to the bar and start serving our clientele. <laughs> Cause that thing's gonna be real spicy and fresh with you around, baby. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs>